Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. Well, hello and welcome to Motor Week, America's original automotive magazine for television. We're glad to have you with us. This is a 1989 328, and this is a 1958 250 Testarossa. Two of a stable of rare exotic models that wear the prancing horse crest of Ferrari. Now, since the first Ferrari racing machine over 46 years ago, no other name makes an automotive enthusiast heartbeat faster. So when we have a chance to test a new Ferrari, we never hesitate. When it's a pair of new Ferraris, the pleasure is more than doubled. Don't let their color fool you. These two latest Ferraris, both variations on the 348, are as red-blooded as any machine that ever came from Marinello. The coupe is the limited edition 348 Speciale. But the most significant of the two is this one, the 348 Spider. It's Ferrari's first two-seat convertible since the Daytona Spider of 1973. But unlike the Daytona, the 348 carries its engine amidships, which makes turning it into a convertible a tricky affair. Our congratulations then to Ferrari's engineers. The manual top that they designed does a fine job of mimicking the standard hardtops lines. It's also the most efficient convertible top that Ferrari has ever produced, folding easily and storing neatly beneath a soft tonneau cover. But the Spider is more than a 348 with the top chopped off. Cosmetic changes include body-colored lower trim panels, while mechanical ones are a stiffened chassis, revised suspension settings, and a wider rear track. Like the Spider's driver, the engine now gets more air, thanks to less restrictive intake and exhaust system. Horsepower stands at 312 and torque is unchanged at 229 pound-feet. Better breathing also means a more authentic Ferrari exhaust note than the standard 300 horsepower 348. The Spider has also adopted the 348 TB's transverse gearbox, but with revised ratios for improved acceleration. The shifter remains gated and Ferrari firm. But test drivers with strong right arm still pulled a 0 to 60 time of 5.8 seconds from the Spider. The quarter mile took 14.2 seconds at 101 miles per hour, thanks to the massive torque and mile-wide power band. The 348 Spider stops as well as it goes, averaging a stable 101 feet from 60 thanks to its four anti-lock equipped disc. And as with the shifter, some serious muscle is required. Ferraris are not cars for people with weak legs or weak shoulders. Our drivers needed all of their strength to wrestle the Spider's massive cornering abilities through the heavy manual steering and onto the asphalt. There is convertible body flex, but not very much, thanks to the 348 stout chassis design. That's rare in even the most expensive convertibles. And the 348 Spider is certainly one of those with a price tag of $122,000. Out on the road, the Spider's highway ride remains as firm as that of a standard 348, but the new suspension settings and wider rear track mean a more stable feel and minimal wind intrusion with the top down means a very pleasant driving experience. Interior design doesn't vary from that of the standard 348. It's one of Ferrari's best efforts ever. We'd add a bit more travel to the tilt wheel and a few more gauges to the main cluster, but the orange on black analog dials are very easy to read. Oil and fuel gauges live down below in the center dash. Seating is exotic car firm, and the unusual floor-mounted motorized seat belts take a bit of getting used to, but the driving position is Ferrari's best to date. The low center console houses comprehensive climate controls, while up top there's a hidden compartment for the stereo of your choice. Since the trunk is up front and the spare tire is just a can of tire sealer, the convertible top has no effect on luggage space. But even if it did, the enjoyment of driving Ferrari's superb 348 Spider would still be undiminished. The 348 is, after all, a pure driving machine, and the addition of the Spider's open-air cockpit makes it one of the most enjoyable exotics ever. If you simply must have a solid top, however, but still want something unique, by Ferrari standards, that is, there is the very limited edition 348 Speciale. Only 100 of these more muscular 348 coupes have been built and sold, each with a price of $112,000. Like the Spider, the Speciale gets full body color trim, but a slightly different taillight treatment. 
and carbon fiber racing seats straight out of the legendary F40. It's a lot of work to get into them, but they hold you in place through hell or high water. Mechanicals in both cars are identical, from the suspension to the 312 horsepower engine. And both our cars produced identical performance in a straight line. But the coupe's stiffer body means less front plow, making the car more nimble in corners. Our staff all thought that the Speciale was a more handsome car than the standard 348, and lamented the fact that so few were built. If you have one of these, you're a very lucky person indeed. Of course, the same thing could be said about the 348 Spider, or any Ferrari for that matter. As we finished our stint with our magnificent screaming yellow pair, we felt rejuvenated. Perhaps more than any other reason, because they do wear the prancing horse. And whether we drive one Ferrari or a whole herd, the pleasure is almost immeasurable.